Hello and welcome to this lesson. So during this lesson, we're going to have a look at perfect competition, both in the short run and in the long run. And we're going to focus on our diagrams and our theory and learning and our understanding of that concept. So um, during the last video, and please feel free to go back and have a look at those videos um, to remind yourself, we had a look at how demand is downward sloping in the industry um, and how the market price actually is the overall price that both consumers and producers end up paying. There's no price setting in the market. And therefore, as firms are price takers in the market, that's actually why they have a completely elastic AR being equal to their MR. Please feel free to go back and remind yourselves about the theory behind that, but also the numerical example to prove that. Play around with those numbers and you'll see that actually it works for every single kind of set of numbers that you may use as your kind of price equilibrium point here. So what we're going to do now is have a look at, and I did kind of touch on this in the last um, video, how Firms in the short run may well be able to make super normal profit and actually what happens over time in the market. So we went and had a look last video at how this is actually still very similar, exactly the same, the Nike swoosh um, here with the marginal cost and if you're wondering why that's shaped like that, we've been over that in class before and you're more than welcome to go and have a look in your books. And also we have our AC, which I'm just going to draw here, be reminded as well that your AC should cut um, at it, its lowest point for obvious reasons. Again, if you need to go back over that, please feel free to go back over in your books and have a look at that. So here at the moment, there's a lot going on in the market. Now we have the assumption that both consumers and producers are utility maximizers. Now we can see on this side here, that because the market price is the actual overall price in the market, that consumers are able to maximize their utility in this entire triangle here. No price setting above the market equilibrium is occurring, so consumers are maximizing their utility. Producers, firms on the other hand, they maximize their utility. It's a lot easier for us to kind of manage and see through maximizing their profit. And we know that firms, when they maximize their profit, they produce at MC, which is equal to MR, which is at that point there. Now, when we're doing this diagram in the exam, take your time, exact same rules apply. You just take that down to here. This is your quantity that the firm is going to produce. This is the quantity that they are making um, the maximum profit growth rate, because that's what profit maximization allows them to do. And obviously, we're going to find their supernormal profit, which is right from their AC curve at this quantity and across here. And this rectangle here is their supernormal profit. So firms in the short run are able to make super normal profit under perfect competition, but actually because of some of the characteristics that doesn't last for particularly a, a long amount of time. So super normal profit we know acts as a signal in the market, so can, uh, producers outside of the market, potential producers are able to see into the market, there is perfect com um, knowledge in the market, perfect information, which means that Producers or potential producers outside the market are able to see that firms are making super normal profit and super normal profit acts as a signal to those individuals to enter the market and to take advantage of a potential super normal profit that they too can earn. Now firms are able to do that because one, there's no barriers to entry and exit to the market and we will have a look at what barriers to exit may mean. I know that that may be confusing for some of you and we will have a look when we look at other market structures, how actually that plays an important part into how firms act in certain market structures. But here, there are no barriers to exit and to entry, so firms are able to enter. When they do enter, they're able to take advantage and have equal access to resources, factors of production that are in the market, another key characteristic of perfect competition. So as that happens in the industry, 
we know that normal market mechanisms here apply. So our supply curve at the same price level in the market, super normal profits acting as a signal. So our supply is going to shift out. So our supply is going to shift out as more firms enter the market. And as our supply shifts out, obviously our price equilibrium will fall. So over time, we have so many individuals coming into the market that the firm is actually going to make normal profit. So we have, we know that normal profit, the firm will still be profit maximising as their main objective, but this, as the firm AR and MR moves down and the firm's AR and MR will move down as the price equilibrium moves down because they are price takers. And again, if you're not sure what that means, just have a look at the previous video that I put up. So, and just a trick for you in the exam, it's just so you can get this right first time, because you won't be explaining it to anybody. Um, if you take this position here, where you know that the firm will be making normal profit, because this will be the minimum amount of, um, kind of the minimum amount of quantity that they can sell without making a loss, because anything previous to this, their AC will be above their a, um, AR, which means they will be making a loss. And actually, you can just take this across to here and use that almost as a cheat to know that your supply curve needs to cross at that point. So we now have a new price equilibrium because more firms have been attracted by that super normal profit. Our price equilibrium is much lower. We can see that that means that our AR and MR have fallen. And again, if you want to have a look at why that's inelastic and uh, elastic and has fallen, you can have a look at the previous video um, there. So now we have a new profit maximizing position where MR is equal to AR, which is also equal to our AC. So our quantity has fallen and that makes complete sense here because as more firms have entered the market, consumers have more choice and therefore they will, the quantity going to one firm will be reduced as it's spread across all the new firms that are also in the market and therefore a firm is making normal profit. Now please just remind yourselves and be aware that that normal profit does include remuneration for the business owner and it does also include any potential um, investment or return on investment that they would have got if they had it in a bank, right? Because um, this is the amount of profit that a business needs to stay in the market. Um, so in the long run, and this is our long run line here, in the long run, all firms in perfect competition only make normal profit and during the, our next kind of video learning experience, I'll be looking at how we can use that in the exam and looking at how this diagram may not have to be so complex and actually you might just draw automatically the long run equilibrium of the perfect competition market rather than going through all the steps. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing next time. Thank you very much.